Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. This is a Power Director 14 capture issue. So, I really like Power Director. I just got this software not too long ago, and I've been doing a lot of cool stuff with it, but I basically found that when you try to hit the screen capture, it uh, just flashes on the outer perimeter of the screen and then goes right off. Now, I don't know if it's a resolution thing or because of the fact that it can do 1080p, but my screen uh, is only showing slightly less than the 1080p. Um, it is flashing and then turning immediately off. So what I decided to do was take... Uh, the Microsoft Expression capture software and try and recreate the problem and then figure out if anything could fix it. So I started changing a lot of settings uh, within my resolution, within my hardware acceleration, and I kind of found that if you tweak enough settings, uh, turn on and off the acceleration, you can actually get it to show up the capture settings because the other problem is, is that the, there is a small application, as you can see here, which uh, can set your capture parameters and also set the quality level and all that, uh, the frames uh, per second, everything. Um, so I actually had launched expressions and then didn't see it running anymore when I changed my uh, resolution. So I thought it wasn't running anymore, so I tried to launch it again. But after tweaking all my settings, I got the actual capture screen to pop up. And I was thinking about maybe uh, making it smaller, uh, hoping that it could possibly uh, change the default. Because I think there's something with it going to 1080p and not having a full 1080p in the screen so uh and if you look at, there are three options there there's the custom the 1080p and the uh the center one is to follow the app and i tried that one and i actually don't like it because if you're sw swapping uh, applications and switching to different applications, it stays with the original app. Now, there might be a case where you would utilize that, but um, I kind of like it so that it sees everything. But anyway, so I went into the settings and I'm looking at uh, some of the default settings and then I saw that advanced button on the left there, so I decided to go into that. And I saw that there was a uh, another hardware acceleration button that could be checkmarked, so I checked that. And uh, once I saved it, I decided to do a small screen screen capture. Um, and so here's where it gets a little Inception-like. Uh, I'm recording a screen capture, record, recording a screen capture. So it was actually pretty cool. I did about 17 seconds of it just to see if it would work. And it worked fine except for when it tried to import it into the video I was creating through uh, PowerDirector. So it didn't want to import it, but it did save it to the folder that I had deemed uh, it right to. And so I decided that I would manually import it and drag it into the project uh, for later use in this video. As you can see, there's the 17 second video. You drag it into the timeline, and then I dragged it into this video later, as you saw. So that is one of the reasons I wanted to utilize this screen capture was because it puts it in MP4 format automatically so I don't have to do any conversions now see I launched it it worked fine 
but then I'm going to close it again because I want to like uh, toggle and make sure that it goes there. And you, as you can see, the resolution is slightly smaller than 1080p. Okay, I'm going to launch it again. And see that time you saw the squares pop up and immediately close. So I launched it again and it worked this time. So I'm not 100% sure of why it fails. It, it seems like it's right on the outer extremities of the screen. Uh, so I think it has something to do with that, but I'm going to probably have to contact PowerDirector and see if they have a fix for this or if they're aware of this. I'm sure they are. Um, and see if there's a patch. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. And if you want to, like, comment, or subscribe.